Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, everybody. What's going on? Uh, yeah, we're here. Well, I'm here, and so is Matt. So we're going to do Talking Beards now. This is episode number 145 of the live show. This is episode number 222. If Scott Sakura turns this into a podcast, he's about, I don't know, five behind now. So we'll see what happens with the podcast. So <laughs> I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I'm on this side of the screen tonight, and I am your regularly scheduled co-host. But as you see, our other regularly scheduled co-host is not here. and We had to pull Matt McClear out of the bullpen tonight to, you know, throw relief or pitch relief or Whatever he's he's in for Scott Sakura tonight, who is uh probably redoing his floors or he's shoveling snow. I don't know. He's doing something before his big move to Austin, Texas, and he needed tonight, so he has it. So we have Matt McClear. What's going on, Matt? Oh, not much. Hanging out, you know, calling in from the bullpen, just like from the Carolina Mudcats, which is in Zebulon, North Carolina. If there's any Mudcat fans in the house, let us know. But um, yeah, hanging out. It's 14 degrees out here. It would be really difficult probably to pee outside this time of the year. So if Scott's shoveling snow, I definitely can relate, you know, to, to the cold and the snow and, and the pee. But uh, yeah, happy birthday, by the way. And Thanks, it's amazing. You, you got you got a million people saying happy birthday. So that's that's pretty awesome. Oh, well, they, I, I didn't even click on the comments. My no, goodness. That's okay. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Need I tried more. to make the Scott Sakura face that was in the intro. Okay, but I, I couldn't do it right, so I'm sorry. No, well, the new Scott Sakura face is just this. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be that anymore because so the reason he always had to do that was because his screen was above his computer. It's like a big screen, but now who knows? I don't know. I don't know what he's going to be doing. So <sighs> you just never know with Scott Sakura. Never know. I heard he's going to have a sweet new studio in Tejas, and it's going to be amazing. And I can't That's wait to see it. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping he has a sweet new studio and he's not, you know, he's not going to go to Texas and be homeless. I'm hoping that's, no. that's the biggest thing. Well, if anything, he could probably go to a McDonald's or a Starbucks or something and get some free Wi-Fi and be on the show on Tuesdays. Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm homeless, but I still got my podcast. <laughs> you ever thought about being homeless, Matt McClear? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have before. <laughs> yeah. and, and and sometimes we ask that question, like, if you were, were to be homeless, where would you be? We actually talked about it last week. <laughs> and uh, it, it's funny that you mentioned that. What if you were homeless, where would you want to be homeless? Um, I, I can't remember. I was somewhere warm. I think we said Hawaii was the majority just because it was Hawaii. It was warm. That would be awful. I, I don't know. I think that'd probably be the worst place. I don't you're on an island. You cannot go anywhere. Yeah, but it's nice and you don't have to worry about being cold. And I'm pretty sure people in Hawaii are super nice. Or volcanoes could eat you. Eh, then you wouldn't be homeless See? anymore. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Problem solved. Problem solved. I uh, always wanted to be homeless in Nashville. I think that'd be a good, good town to be homeless in. There's too many country songs already about that. I know. It'd be awesome. I was just like, hang out in Nashville, be homeless. Hmm. Okay, It'd be cool. Well, yeah, I think you should try it for a week, vlog mm -hmm. your whole experience, and then you could do it li one live from Nashville being homeless. I have always said that. I want to just go be homeless somewhere, like for a little bit. I would definitely want a debit card like in my shoe or something. You know what I mean? Like, all right, that's just like it's like the tap out thing. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm done. Just I'm here's my debit card. I'm. I'm not really homeless. I'm going home now. 
but and, this I, and was Scott fun. could be Scott could be the like secret camera guy that like experiences it and records it and kind of lives the homeless life with you. I I like this idea. Yeah. And uh, I notice I'm not volunteer. Andrew, he'd probably go and help. So probably... you and me can go be homeless. That's that's a great idea. I'm in. I'm in. As long as Kevin Henderson fishing is around to provide us a fish or two, you know, that'd be that'd be nice. It'd really really seal the deal. So what what did you do this weekend, Matt McClear? Did did you so let's just take this back. I don't know how much you you wanna you wanna let everyone know, but you also just got a, a new job, right? Yeah, I did. Like, yeah, a couple. You, you uh, me, Scott, everybody, everybody just gets new jobs. What are you doing now? New job. Um, yeah, I'm working uh, with with the company, doing more kind of IT related stuff, and um, you know, some stuff that you know is is coming down the pipes because it's a plumbing business, and which is a reminder that in the plumbing business, this Friday, yes, it's known as Black Friday, is also known as Brown Friday in the plumbing world because what? it is the most calls that Roto Rooter gets in the entire year, and the increase is crazy because of you know the amount of people that you know go to other people's houses and it just straight the system there's extra showers extra flushing extra water uh don't put grease down your your, your the turkey grease down the drains roto rooter it's the busiest day of the year brown friday heard it here first you, talking i'm dirty. looking this up if no, brown it's, it's friday a is a real thing yeah, so it's a real thing. if brown friday is a real thing i mean that's just a, a a huge opportunity for anybody that's doing any heating and plumbing and uh social media you know what i mean yes. like that's all there's so much opportunity right there it's a big I'm opportunity just, just saying. Ah, uh, Jake. Jake, Jake McKellips is here. He's like, ugh, why am I here? Because you want to listen to us, Jake. Yeah. You and all 13 people that are watching Talking Beards tonight. Um, Yeah. So Natalie pointed this out a second ago. I didn't do a hashtag giveaway thingamajig thing. Wow. So, That's okay. You can you do know, that. In, uh, guess you know, what? Hashtag you can Aaron's put hashtag birthday. Aaron's birthday. So, yeah, everybody, if you'd like to win some Honest Amish products, basically if you're choosing, because I didn't run downstairs and put anything together, um, put in hashtag Aaron's birthday, and you could win some Honest Amish. No, you will. If you, you win, you'll win some great stuff, like the best stuff. I promise. See, Andrew gets it. Hashtag Aaron's birthday. Uh, yeah. So we had a pretty crazy, crazy weekend. I, I would say Jake McCubbs, you're an idiot. He put talking heads. Uh, so I don't even know what we did Friday, Saturday. I know that we drove to Darlington, South Carolina. It's like two hours from here. Um, you, you might not realize this Matt McClear, but it is a NASCAR sanctioned racetrack. It's, yeah. It's like where the cars, they race and they yeah, go left. Like, Yep, they go left. So this was one of the original tracks, one of the original tracks that NASCAR ran on when they very, very first started, and they're still running on it. Is that one, it, the one that has like a real high bank in the corner, or is that it's a different got a, one? It's got a pretty good bank in the corner. Did you know that Darlington Raceway, originally the track was designed to run down on the flat, and the bank was to catch them if they got up off the flat? And then one of the people in one of the, not the first race, and I know I'm, I'm messing up this history lesson, but um, it <laughs> what he did, he was just riding around in probably the middle of the pack. He got up on the bank wow. and started running, and he was just smoking everybody. Was and then everybody was like, wow, it's faster if we run up on the bank the whole time. And then everybody moved up on the bank. But originally, when they built that track, the thought was for everybody to run down on the flat. So it's actually got a really, really big flat section of the track. You know, wow. there you go. Food for thought. Anyway, so that's what we did Saturday. We went to Darlington, South Carolina. Uh, we took my WRX up there and I scared Natalie. I tried to get as close as I could to the wall. And I think I hit 115. I think that was the most I ever hit, but we were out there in a pack and technically you were supposed to do 55 and stay behind the pace car and not lag back. But I lagged back and I got to 115. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, and then we just turned around and drove home. But it was a Toys for Tots thing. So, you know, nice. 20 bucks going to charity and you get to make five laps around Darlington. I think that's a win-win for everyone involved. It is. And rumor has it you did 115 all the way home. Basically. 
<laughs> so uh, after that, we woke up Sunday morning. We're like, we should drive to Orlando now. We definitely haven't done enough driving. Um, so we drove to Orlando. We hung out Sunday. And then 15, 15, uh, Monday, we, what did we do? We went to Did you just Downtown call Disney. Monday 15? So this is, this is what happened. Andrew put this <laughs> uh-huh. one fifteen is faster faster than Joey Gase's average speed. I was trying to talk and read. Monday is now fifteen. That okay. is that is where we're at. So Monday we went to uh, Disney Springs, went shopping, did some stuff, and then uh, Monday night we went to uh, Universal City Walk, and I got Voodoo Donuts. Yeah, but most importantly, Natalie says this is the most important thing. Let's I wanted it. to get some new shoes while I was there. All right. Oh, I'm ready. And it's and nothing, none of this was set up, anybody. But my new shoes match Matt McClear. Whoa. Look at this. This He's is 100 percent true. This wasn't planned. I just threw this on to show off the hat. <laughs> it looks look, I'm Matt McClear. <laughs> Those that is that is amazing. Those are some of the coolest shoes I've ever seen. These are the most comfortable Sanooks I've ever uh owned so they're they're fuzzy inside which i've got some fuzzy sanooks already but the bottoms are like twice as thick as any other sanooks i've ever had and these are amazing anybody wants a pair of sanooks go get these they're super comfy they're yeah right. you can have those for the righteous price of 75.69 pretty much yeah you give me 75.69 you can have these because me and Natalie are going to go back down there in a couple weeks anyway. So I'll just get them then. So $76.99 or whatever you said. That's the price. <laughs> They're going to smell like dirty feet, Cheetos, and voodoo donuts. Basically, that's what I smell like. That's that's what Natalie says. Um, Perfect. <laughs> hashtag Aaron's birthday for free Honest Amish. You yeah, and, and it's a mystery pack. That's how, that's it's how a we, mystery we pack. It. It's a mystery pack. I moved everything downstairs. All I have here is a comb. Some Bayou Blend and some mustache wax. So if that's what you want, then I've got it readily available. If not, I can get you anything. I know a guy. He does. He knows a guy. He He's, he's living in the Southern Honest Amish Distribution <laughs> Center. It's called Honest Amish South, Matt. Gosh, oh, it's the wow. very oh. official, you know, thing, name. I'm pretty sure I had it. all of those words in the description. It just added it up a little bit. Whoever went oh that yeah, no. Whoever wins the hashtag giveaway wins Aaron's Sanooks. That is incorrect information, Matt. Andrew Matson, not he, Matt he called Andrew Matt. He, he meant to put uh Aaron's pet skunk. <laughs> I don't know. What what else have you been doing, Matt? You uh so you got the new job. It's got 14 new job. degrees outside. 14 degrees. Um just been just been buying a bunch of hats, and then I'm hanging the hats in the studio. And I've been uh, I broke my 3D printer, so I was working Why? on a special project that um, that isn't uh, going so well because I accidentally broke the printer. Why did you do that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of stuff. But you ever just do a bunch of stuff and it doesn't really feel like you do any stuff? Yes, that's kind of where I'm at. I like but, uh, when you don't do anything and then it like feels like you didn't do anything. That's like the best yeah so there's been a lot of that and uh you know just like you know just just doing shows having fun pushing out content ish i guess and just you know it's it's been really nice because uh, on a lot of social medias i react to people shaving their beards off and thankfully yeah. it's november so i get the month off because not a lot of people really shave their beards off in november so it's it's been nice to kind of have a month to um what part of the country are you am i in uh northeast i'm right on the canadian border in lovely new york lovely new york lovely so not the city i'm eight hours north of the city and yes new york is that big no you're not eight hours from the city if you live in new york you are in the city the whole state is the city it's true yep didn't you know that i I should have checked that out (sighs) so um yeah what else you've been up to anything good um natalie just just let me know that i need to tell the story about me getting a ticket today so happy birthday to me um, we left Orlando and I was, I was going above the speed limit most of the time on the interstate. Allegedly. And, allegedly. And Natalie was like, if you get a ticket, I'm going to be pissed. And I didn't get a ticket on the interstate. 
and we got off the interstate and you've got to go through probably about 10 little towns uh, between the interstate and in my town. So every, every so often you hit a little town, you got to slow down to 35 and then you speed back up for a little bit. And then you hit another little town and I hit one town that had the one cop that was paying attention and instead of slowing all the way down for the last town, I didn't feel like it. So I slowed down some and then I sped up early because I knew I was approaching the end of town. And that cop didn't like that. I sped up early because I was approaching the edge of town and they saw me. So I've got a speeding ticket for uh, I don't even know what town this was in. Didn't Whoa. you say that you were Boris said you just came from Darlington. It's hard to slow down a little bit. And then they were like, <laughs> good to go. Yeah, right. I just got off the racetrack. Don't you know? Uh, you can't just slow down. I'll I'll melt my flux capacitor or something. Who like said that. Boris said? Boris said. <laughs> what? You don't know the NASCAR <laughs> legend Boris said, who was one of the greatest. <laughs> you road look racers? like Boris said. Wow. I've never are you Boris said? Maybe I knew it. I can turn left and right. That's why I do road so, courses. And that's why Boris said now that sounds. Ah, oh, I knew it. I've never seen you and Boris said in the same place. Same time. Uh, you, you miss some great Watkins Glen times. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew <laughs> said, Boris said doesn't race Darlington. That's true. That's why he wasn't there. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. Anyway. <sighs> Are you ready to be all professional and, and do this talking beards thing? Matt McClear? No. You should yeah. be. I mean, as professional as, as we get. That's, that's good enough for me. So let's get this going. So tonight we have Mr. <laughs> Nicholas Gallimore. He's a father, husband, a teacher, entrepreneur. He is the owner of Mudcat Whiskers and a proud member of the Bearded Villains of Louisiana. And they're putting on the competition this weekend. So we will dive deep into the Cajun Beard Bash. This is Louisiana's largest beard competition. And this is Nicholas Gallimore. What's going hey. on, my friend? Hey, everybody. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Matt. God, How's it that going? Was so professional. It looked like we knew what we were doing and everything. Man, you Ooh. had a segue and transitions and the whole I shebang. I mean, yes. it, you just wait till episode 146. We're just, we're going to have all kinds of stuff. We'll have like pyrotechnics and everything <laughs> for the guests. It's going to be amazing. Like yeah. strobe uh, lights in the background and bubbles and stuff. Everything. Oh, bubble you gotta machine. Have, you got to have bubbles. Bro, I'm surprised you don't have bubbles. Well, I wait mean, till next fit, week. Like right on that shelf. Just bubbles. T tune in next week. We will have bubbles. <laughs> we'll have bubbles. The whole episode. <laughs> it's just going to be like right here. I'm going to go on record. I think it's a bad idea. I mean, with bubbles? Yeah, really? bubbles and electronics in the floor. It's going to make a mess, but it's not my studio, so do it, yeah. All right, we're doing it. All right, so <laughs> bubbles next week on Talking Beard. So with Honest what? Amish Beard Oil in the bubble maker. Right. They'll just be little floating Amishes. Oh, my gosh. This wow, is we're good. brilliant. You could just put, okay, yeah, so you could just put the oil in the bubble machine. There you go. And then... You could just step in front of the bubble machine and then it just oils your beard for you. And then you could be like bubbles brought to you by Honest Amish Beard Wash. Boom. And I like how you're saying oil and not oil. oil? That makes me happy. <laughs> Who? You. Me? Yeah. Oil. oil. No. Oil. Okay. Oh, okay. There yeah, we go. Yeah, now he messed it up. He forgot. How <laughs> What's up, Nick? So you, uh, you've uh, you been busy. You, you've you been planning this competition you got coming Bruh. up this weekend. Have I been busy like uh, with teaching and the whole Mudcat stuff and uh, the beard comp is just it's going to be big. I mean, we have like 10 vendors, three food trucks. I've never really had food trucks at any of my events before. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, kind of food you trucks. Know, um, I think there's like a taco truck, which is um, he hasn't. Uh, I'm working with Harley Davidson and he hasn't really told me which food trucks he's going to get, but he's definitely trying to get taco sisters nice. and they make like some just amazing tacos. If you've ever had food in Southern Louisiana, uh, like bro, this is why we're all fat and we die of heart attacks. I'm going to tell you. That's why everybody's down there biting heads and sucking butts. Right. <laughs> is that why the official state drink of Louisiana is milk? Because all this stuff is so spicy. No. I think the official state drink is a Sazerac. Honestly, it's just whiskey. Whiskey and sugar. Uh, the Google said milk. Milk? Mm -hmm. Yep. Milk. Milk. You can't argue with Google. You'll get canceled. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, I'll probably get filtered. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can't maybe, maybe it's milk. I don't know. I teach Louisiana history, but I didn't know that'll be a nice little quiz for my kiddos. I'll be like, "Hey, do you know what the state milk state drink of Louisiana is?" <laughs> and if you you're wrong, the state milk like, is. Yeah, I'll be like, like "You Matt. failed. You have to start Matt. the whole grade over again." Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That, that. This this one question is right. your whole it's worth a million points. <laughs> it'll follow you into your college. <laughs> It'll be, it'll be on your transcript. Failed the milk. Your, yep, milk. You <laughs> failed. You said it was whiskey. It is not milk. <laughs> so it's a tribute to the state's dairy industry. Yeah, no, there is a big, like going out towards New Orleans and that eastern side, there is a big dairy. I mean, there used to be a big dairy farm. I don't know how the hurricanes affected everything, but yeah, it was big, big. Hmm. Big, big. So, big, uh, big. How did how did all this come together for you to do this competition over there at the Harley dealership? Because this is well, this is not your first competition, but this is this is your first one at the dealers, the Harley place. Yeah, this is um, my first experience working with Harley and um, the Cajun Harley Davidson, which is our local dealership out there in Scott. Said, "Hey, no shave November. You know, let's get something together." And so they reached out to a couple of different beer clubs in Louisiana and all the beer clubs that they reached out to, they're like, no, nah, we're not really doing it anymore. Um, so he hit up Morgan, which is our uh, president at BVLA and was like, would you guys mind putting on a beer comp? And he's like, I got just the guy, you know, and since I've done beer comps before, mm -hmm. um, you know, throughout the state, it kind of just <laughs> fell into place. What, why did you, uh, is this is this the only one you're going to do this year, or are you still going to do? Yeah, the um, normal competition coming up. This is the only one that I'm doing this year. Um, okay. COVID kind of threw a, a monkey wrench into everything because they usually do one with Mudcat Whiskers, like right. uh, up there in Monroe at Red River. Um, but it's like every year I've done a beard comp in a different part of the state, so this is neat that I actually get to do one not that far away from my house. So, you know, where so you live down there close to Scott, Louisiana, and you live in Lafayette? Yeah, I live in Lafayette. Because um, Lafayette's and, really close, right, to Scott? Yeah, well, actually, Scott's a part of Lafayette Parish. Okay. Um, so it's it's kind of like un, unincorporated or whatever, but uh, it's like 20 minutes away. That's not Just too bad. because of traffic, really. <clears throat> Are you expecting a lot of traffic this weekend? I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping that all the ladies are going to go Black Friday shopping and all the guys are going to be like, what am I going to do? Hey, hey beard comp. Let's go. There you, there you, you know? go. <laughs> so so speaking, kinda... of, speaking hmm? of Black Friday, uh, you had mentioned Mudcat Whiskers. Is uh, Mudcat Whiskers got any cool Black Friday stuff going on? Oh, yeah. I'm running a huge, huge Black Friday sale, like 50% off, kind of huge. Wow. And, and it runs till December 10th. Um, just use the code beard up, all one word. Um, beard capitalize up capitalize, and you'll save 50% off your entire order. So that it's is, been going bananas lately. That's a huge wow. savings. Yeah. Right. And I mean, it's it's almost like wholesale prices. Right. You know? <laughs> and I've had a lot of people like really take up on the offer and I just released it like last night. So wow. It's been going gangbusters, really. Well, That's almost I'm excited. But just released it last night. Yeah, I mean, it's been going Breaking well. News. Breaking news. That's right. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you know this, Matt, but uh, Mudcat Whiskers was Talking Beard's first sponsor. Really? I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah. Trivia for like I think like three or two four months. Three months. Yeah, it's a yeah. while. Yeah. Wow. This could yeah. be the we, we there could be the most tr talked about trivia show without actually having trivia on a show because did you know that Louisiana is home to the largest population of Cajuns and uh, Aaron might not know that but they are apparently descendants of the uh, Acadians you probably know because you're a teacher and you got a lot of certificates behind you but I didn't know that and apparently they were kicked out of Canada in the 1700s probably because they didn't like poutine well because like, we didn't like the British <laughs> and the British didn't like us too well and they kicked us down here. So, so they there. just walked south as far as they could get until they just ran into the, the Gulf of Boats. Mexico. And then they're we, like, that's it. We're done. We're, we this is what we, we were hopped done. in our P-Rose. We got our crawfish net. And we're like, show me them alligators. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Yeah. But it's fun. Yeah. So uh, Greg John <laughs> Robichinox <laughs> Robo Jr. Oh, wow. That's a heck of a name. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I, I hear Robichinox. Pretty. 
cool ambassadors. Yeah, I've been uh, working on ambassadors this year, and uh, Greg's part uh, part of the BV with me. Um, so I I sent out an all call to all my people. I was like, "Hey, I'm going to be on Talking Beards. Show up." Yeah, I appreciate and, uh, it. Yeah. All right. And so now they're just going to spam the chat. Sorry. Go for it. Spam <laughs> the chat, spam. guys. Spam the chat, guys. Spam it. Spam Let's it. Go. So Let's dive deep into this thing. This is what we all came here for. Tell us all about the Cajun beard bash. What what are what should we be expecting? Well, like I said, it's going to be the biggest well, I'm gearing up for the biggest beard comp in Louisiana. And since I'm I don't know, I've done beard comps in Louisiana. I'm shooting for this one to be the biggest one that I've ever done. Nice. Um, you know, with the food trucks and it's going to be a whole weekend long event. We have a meet and greet Friday at Bork's Bar. Um, we have the beard comp on Saturday with a silent auction and food trucks and vendors. Um, and then we have uh, the silent auction and everything. And then after that, we have the after party, which is sponsored by Legends of uh, of Scott, which is really like two blocks away. So we're going to try to shuttle people from the comp to the after party. Nice. And then um, so that's going to be really neat. And then Sunday send off, you know, just coffee and donuts and telling everybody bye and see you later. Voodoo yeah. donuts, yeah. Voodoo donuts. Vo- well, I don't. Why is there not voodoo donuts down there? I, new you world. know, I don't know why we don't have voodoo donuts. I mean, it's insane that it would you, seem like they should franchise out down here, right? You should start one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll run that by the wife. See, like, okay, uh, she, this she's whole fine teaching mud cat, you know, BVLA. Yeah. Let's start a donut she, company. <laughs> let's start a donut business. <laughs> Wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you could be donuts. the first one to put mud cats on a donut. Right. Wow. It'd be like the, the mud cat croissant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what what time's this the thing getting it. started? What time's this thing getting started on Saturday? Um, it's gonna get started at 10. Uh the vendors are gonna start showing up at 8 30. Um, it's gonna be over probably about three or four, uh, okay. depending on how many people show up. Um, I haven't really been pushing the pre-registration as much, so I'm assuming that a lot of people are gonna be registering at the event but i got a lot of brothers that are going to come and help sign people up on their uh their phone and stuff now it's not um an fhl event we're doing this kind of solo um so i made like a google form and all that for registration but they'll still be able to take their picture and add little notes and stuff so cool perfect is if there is somebody looking to pre-register is there a place that they could go and do that or do you want them to register you know at the event Well, uh, either way, um, they could go to, uh, they could just Google Bearded Villains Louisiana, and then uh, we have a banner that shows up. Or actually, even if they uh, Google Cajun Beard Bash, it'll show up. Cool. Nice. Uh, And then you can go to the website and you can get pre-registered and all that good stuff. Yeah, we have uh, vendors, sponsors, all that stuff. Um, They can buy tickets for the meet and greet, you know, everything. The after party, you know. Yeah, if you pre-register, then you got more time for the taco truck. That's my thinking. Right. I'm, I'm, well, this is the first comp that I'm that I'm putting on that I haven't emceed. So we we have two of the brothers that are going to be emceeing for us. We have a, a guy called Goat. Um, you know, I mean, he sounds kind of like a goat. <laughs> he can make he the goat sound like a goat. Right. He's from he's from Erath out there in way deep southern Louisiana. So he talked flat flat, and you can't understand him. And he's like, "Oh yeah, look that thing." You know, kind of like the guy from uh, Waterboy, in a way. Oh, so we got we got Neil, kind of like, also. Kind of like John Fontenot from uh, where, where is he from? Calhoun, Louisiana. Part of the, oh, yeah. the mob guys up there. He uh, he's kind of hard to understand too. Yeah, I mean, Let's if you listen real thing. close, you can get it. But um, oh, yeah. we're gonna put him, we're gonna put him up there with Neil, um, and so Neil can translate for us and think. But I figure I like two's that. better than one, right? I, I mean, like that your MC needs a translator. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I mean, I'm sure some of the cont- contestants are going to need translators too. You know, we talk kind of flat down here. And I feel like it'd be really hard to learn a Southern Louisiana kind of accent like he has the the goat. You know what I mean? So if you have one there, you you can translate right. probably much easier the other way. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it takes one to know one kind of thing. You know, I mean. <laughs> It's not like the New Orleans accent, but um, honestly, 
with this comp, it's kind of the smallest number of categories that I've ever had in a competition. Um, it's not that many um, because Harley wanted it to kind of be short. Okay. Um, you know, like the event, he wanted it to go from 10 to 3 because uh, there are closing times and stuff like that. Um, All right. So what are those categories that's going to keep this thing so short? Well, we have business beard under four. So like okay. for the the guys with, you know, normal beard. And like, then we have under eight and over eight. And that's kind of it. I mean, we have whiskerinas and mustache and goatee. Of course, you got to have those guys. Right. But um, I'm looking these categories. We're probably going to have a lot of contestants in each category, um, you know, but. I've made the spreadsheet for the judges. So it's going to be like based on softness, color, you know, uh, style, all that kind of stuff, showmanship. So the judges are going to have a lot to take into consideration. Nice. Um, you know, it's not just like how long's your beard, you know? Right. Yeah. They'll have all these different criteria to put together mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. Well, because I mean, with it being under eight and over eight, I didn't want guys who are closer to the eight side and, you know, guys who are closer to the seven side to kind of feel like, oh, well, he had an extra inch on me. So that's why he won. That's you right. So, so it kind of levels out the playing field away. Well, I, I mean, that works out. And so you said you have four judges. Do you do you have uh, those names readily available? Yeah, um, I have April Norris from in and in Barbershop. She's one of my barbers. Um, she's I'll pick up my chair a little bit. Um, she's judged for me before um, okay. in multiple of my events, and then um, she's down there from New Iberia. Then we have Skip or uh, Hick Sheremy, who's a local actor. He's been in a bunch of different movies like Money Plane and things like that. Um, I think the last one he was in was Obsidian, or something to that effect. Um, but he's our, our local celebrity. He's um, going to be showing up, and then we have Katie who's a barber out there in Erath, uh, Katie Guidry, and then um, Danielle's Haircut Garage. They're going to send some people over. Nice. So, But the problem is with having four judges, you know, you could have a tie pretty easily. So that's why I have all the different categories to hopefully, you know, not run into that problem. But mm. in the Harry event of a tie, go. what's the tiebreaker? Do you have something yeah, cool planned out? Like who can eat the most, like, uh, tacos um, from the taco truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or or how many tacos can they eat? Or uh, yeah, I think that uh, tacos. We'll just lay out a whole big bunch of tacos, and it'll turn from a beer comp to a taco eating contest. Like, I mean, you know. I like taco eating contests, right? <laughs> I'm the who eats the most, or who has the most left in their beard? Cleanest I, beard. Otherwise, the cleanest man. beard afterwards. That would be the mm -hmm. challenge. Because I mean, man, you get that sour cream and that. Shredded cheese in there, bro. I like that. Would be a disaster. You, would <laughs> I wouldn't win. <laughs> no, I would need like a whole beard bib and like just stop it right here. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so but we do have. Some, I'm sorry. We do no, have no, some you really good awards uh, this year. Like last year for the um, this the St. Patty's Beard Bash up there in Monroe, we just had plaques. Mm -hmm. But now uh, Custom Etch is going to be doing the bottle openers. Mm -hmm. And they're on, like, the first place is on an 18-inch board. It has It's all engraved. It has a gold bottle opener. Second place is, like, a silver. It's, like, a 14-inch board. And then third place is, like, a 12-inch board. And it has, like, a matte black. So, I mean, it's going to be pretty neat. That sounds awesome, dude. It does sound awesome. Are I they, mean, I like, I like functioning stuff, you know? So that yeah, way it's absolutely. If you're going to... If you're gonna have a, a big chunk of trophy in your house, man, <laughs> might as well make it u usable. Makes yeah. sense to me. <clears throat> so you got I mean, your four yeah. judges, uh, yeah. your MC, your location. What about the charity? Who who's the uh, oh yeah? Who's the money the going to benefit we're, this year? The charity that we're doing is uh, Miles Perret Cancer Services. It's kind of like a local uh, children's cancer center, mm -hmm. and um, I'm hoping like if I could raise ten thousand. That would be amazing. That would um, be amazing. Between the silent auction and the competitors and, you know, sponsorship, just pull all that together. And I, I think that would be just, I mean, that that's my goal. And that's a, that's a heck, heck of a good goal. 
Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, before I've done, um, like, the, the veterans uh, nursing home out there in Monroe, we've done uh, the Autism Society for Acadiana. And each year it's gone increasingly more. So I'm hoping that if I push the limit a little bit, you know, I can meet that expectation. Oh, absolutely. Oh, but I mean, good. even if I for, fall short of 10,000 and I get two, you know, that's something. It's two more than they had. It's definitely better right. than zero. <laughs> so, and everybody knows that's, that's what, at the end of the day, what all these competitions are about is yeah. uh, raising money for charity. I mean, it's fun to compete with your friends and, and, and beat them or lose to them <laughs> Rub that the, or however you want to look at it. But, yeah, it's but yeah. you know at the end of the day we're we're all doing good work, so that's that's what really really matters. Yep, and that's um, what makes it the best community in the entire planet. I say it all the time to people: the beard community is absolutely amazing. It is. It, I, I completely agree. I think it's super cool. It's it's kind of its own little niche here, but you know we're we're trying to do good stuff. So, yep. And yeah, I mean, important. I mean, look at the time, the effort that you know that goes on every single weekend, whether it's in Louisiana, South Carolina. You know what I mean, Pennsylvania. There, there's always a bearded community, you know, raising money for an event like you guys are this weekend. So no, it's it's amazing, and and you know as well as everybody the time and effort that goes into it. And you know, even though that I can't make it, and I don't know if you're going to be able to make it, like we we appreciate all the effort. It's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. it's super cool. And we've been doing a lot with uh, you know the hurricanes that happened a couple of months ago. Um, a lot of people are still recovering from that, and so. Uh, BVLA kind of got together and started helping out um, different communities and things. What have y'all been doing as a club? Um, well, we've bought a bunch of chainsaws. We went to go help um, cut down trees and stuff like that. Heck yeah. uh, Mark just messaged me, said the beard comps were in Shreveport. I don't know what he's referring to for that. Um, but it was in a tree. Maybe I missed oh, the one at Red River were at Shreveport. Yeah, the Red River was in Shreveport, but you know, yeah. it, we're we're talking about the Cajun Beard Bash. Right. That's all that's it really what we're focusing now. on right here in Scott, Louisiana. <laughs> that's this right. Weekend, right. Saturday here. from ten to three. Yeah. So there are some special event rates. Are are those still going? If somebody was kind of like a a, a late um, late decision to go to the Beard Comp, do you know if they can still get the rates or? Well, um, we did have a connection with the local hotel, which is like two blocks away from the event at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, but I think they pulled the, uh, room rate last week, is okay. the thing. but I mean, I, I think they still have rooms available. I haven't checked yet. Perfect. And I'm sure if you could sweet talk them, maybe in the goat's voice, then you could yeah, probably get that. the event rate. Hey, yo, yo, give me the room rate there. <laughs> yo, um, <laughs> like I'm just tell them that you're goat and they'll, they'll let you stay there yeah, easily I mean, for the, the, the cheap rate. Right. <laughs> Just show up and, you know, we'll find a spot for you. I'm sure. That's that's right. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll have you sleeping in Harley Davidson. I don't like that. I don't, <laughs> All right. I got to clear that one, but <laughs> Nicholas Gallimore said that you can sleep in Harley Davidson. So Shannon's going to be like, I'm missing a few bikes. I don't know what happened. Here's my tab. I'll be like, uh, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> uh Oh, LB low says that venue. I need to go talk to the guy. They have, Food trucks, bro. There yep. you go. Food yep. trucks. So you know that that's what LB Low has yep. to say about it. Thanks, LB. <laughs> he's from West Virginia, so you. Oh man, who knows? Then he's yeah. never had like actual Cajun food, right? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe. Just... I mean, I'm sure there's little Cajun restaurants that pop up all over the place. Well, everybody so. knows that West Virginia is famous for their Cajun food. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean the number one thing that it's West like West Virginia has going for it. Lafayette, West Virginia, you boil crawfish exactly the same. It's closer to Canada, so you know it's true. Oh well, there you go, French, French crawfish. LB says we're talking about our comp. LOL. No, LB, we're actually talking about the the Cajun beard bash it's in Cajun Scott, Louisiana bash. this weekend. <laughs> Freaking mob people from West Virginia. They're it's. <laughs> you know, they're a little slow sometimes, but it's fine. He'll he'll get it figured out. And he says, "My bad, my bad, <laughs> <laughs> my, bad. my bad, bro." So, if there my is uh, somebody that can't make the event, is there somewhere on the web or somewhere that somebody can maybe make a donation towards the charity to kind of help out, even you know from from afar? Um, we haven't set that up yet, but that's a good okay. idea. I could put a link up or a QR code um, on the website for them to um, make a donation and then we'll forward it to the charity. That kind there of thing. Go. Perfect. Yeah. 
But I mean, with 10 vendors, the uh, uh, silent auction. Uh, Aaron, you remember the silent auction items from Shreveport? Did you get a chance to see them or no? I saw some. Yeah, yeah. there was like the like the artwork or like it was like pictures of like fame like baseball players and stuff. And it was like autographs. Yeah, and the yeah. autographs and uh, Easy Rider yeah. and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And yeah. So did you get uh, anybody from the Carolina Mudcats to sign something? Because that'd be cool, like a jersey. That would be cool. But I mean, they might get me for copyright infringement. Is that like your favorite baseball team? Is the Carolina (laughs) Mudcat? Right. Well, the whole thing behind like Mudcat Whiskers is I wanted something Cajun without being a crawfish. You know, and I figure a Mudcat has a little mustache, Mm -hmm. you know, and it has like a little bitty goatee kind of beard thing. So, I mean, they can't get you for copyright. There's plenty of Mudcats and there's probably more Mudcats in Louisiana than there is in Carolina. Right. Yeah, and it's not like I directly copied their logo. You yeah, know. you didn't even put Carolina Mudcats. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even a baseball team. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe one of these days I'll get enough guys together, you know. We'll get the band together and we'll make a baseball team. There you Ooh, go. I want in. Mudcats Mud- versus Talking Beards. <laughs> we're we're in. Matt's our pitcher. Make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. So you said you have 10 uh, vendors. Do you Do you know some of these vendors that are going to be setting up? Well, I know that we have a, a cigar merchant coming out. Um, we have a lot of local vendors. Um, in and in barbershop, they're doing um, a vendor booth there. Uh, Honest Amish is going to have a, a set up, right, Aaron? You're going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'll be there. Be there with bells on. That's right. Bells on awesome and stuff. all kinds of stuff. New shoes. Yeah, I would New also shoes. like to thank um, Honest Amish for donating a whole bunch of... Uh, swag for the beard bags i mean that's going to be great the guys are going to love it heck yeah yeah and uh we're probably going to use that for door prizes at uh, the meet and greet and the after party too so you know we're going to have things sprinkled in all over the weekend so i think it's going to be really neat i'm excited about it that sounds yeah. awesome how's right. the uh, how's the forecast in louisiana for uh for the event is everything looking all right i guess that would be something that i should have looked into <laughs> but uh <laughs> it being an outdoor event and all um it's gonna be it, thunderstorming all right. <laughs> weekend long <laughs> look at my beard is blowing in the wind <laughs> right. and you can just change the judging to uh best looking beard in the wind um <laughs> beard that looks great while wet best in show <laughs> right yeah. maybe we'll have to like default back to how much tacos you got in your beard <laughs> you know yeah but uh it it's supposed to be it's supposed to be cool um like i don't know 50s Oh my gosh. Well, it's in the morning, so I don't think it'll be that bad. But now you got me kind of curious of what 64 is a high for Saturday. Ooh. See? Not too shabby. Everything looks good. Uh, Where I live, I won't see 64 till May or June. Well, Saturday it says overcast. So it's not like it'll be raining, but it won't be like super bright. So hopefully it'll just be nice and the clouds will knock off some of the sun. Absolutely. No, it sounds like it's a good start to uh, to a great event for sure. Yeah, because, I mean, this is actually my first outdoor event, so I don't know how that's going to go, because especially when you get in this Louisiana humidity, um, your beard, I don't care how much beeswax you put in, it's just going <laughs> to, you know, go bananas. But. Yeah. Bananas. Bananas. <laughs> Maybe right, we'll, we'll have some whiskerinas with banana beards. I think that that's a good cool. idea. All right, right, whiskerinas, if you're watching, we need banana beards. Because, I mean, two bananas make the mustache. I mean, it's a shoe in. You have to have it. That's right. Two bananas right here. Oh, man. I'm surprised somebody hasn't used bananas already. It would be well, bananas. Right now. For right? Sure. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm going to have like 15 <laughs> bananas here to show up. <laughs> All right, Nick, you got any last minute information about your competition that you, you're just dying to get out there for everybody? So it's uh, 10 a.m. at the Harley dealership in Scott, Louisiana. And mm-hmm. that is Saturday. So is there, there anything else anyone needs to know that we have not covered? Um, I think that's about it. They can tune into the events page on Facebook and okay. uh, I'll be posting updates there. I'll also be listing all of the, uh, the vendors and links to their websites. So that way you can get a little bit more heads up. Um, I know that legends is really going to go all out. There are after party sponsor. Um, they have like a DJ, they have food there. It's a really fun environment. Um, and Bork's Bar for the meet and greet is going to be more like low-key um, cigars and that kind of thing. It's like an old historic bar, um, nice. so it should be really nice. 
Nice. Well, that sounds if awesome. anybody's in the Louisiana area this weekend, just come to Scott, Louisiana. It's right outside of Lafayette at the Har- Harley de- dealership. We'll be out there at 10 a.m. until 3, putting on a beard competition. And, you know, if you're there, stop by the Honest Amish booth and say hello, and I'll say hello back. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you Nick. Will. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you very it. much, buddy. And thank you for everything you do and all the hard work you put into all this competition stuff. And we will see you Saturday. Yeah. Good all luck. Right. Have fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Not a problem, buddy. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. All right, Matt McClear. It is a quarter till. You need to go do TikTok Tuesday over on Beard Laws. Um, I'm going to try to wrap this up within the next 14 minutes so we don't step on your show. Do you have anything to add, sir? Um, uh, I don't. This was fun. Good luck. Make sure you guys check out the competition and uh, check out that Honest Amish. And uh, if you can't make it there to say hi to him in person, just go to honestamish.com. Use code Talking Beards, and you're going to save some money. Bam. Use promo code Talking Beards to save fifteen percent off your order at honestamish.com. Matt McClear, go. thank you for all you do for me, and I appreciate it. And uh, everyone on Honest Amish appreciates you. And that's about it. All right, Matt. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a good rest of this show, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. All right, later, guys. Okay, bye. I'm all alone now. I didn't think about this. (laughs) All right, so, uh uh-oh. Jake McCallops is still here. Thank you. That is the best birthday present you could possibly ever, ever give me. So I'm going to, I'm going to rattle this off one more time. If you would like to get some honest Amish products sent to you before the end, you know, not, I'm not going to send it to you by the end of the show, but if you would like some given to you by the end of the show, use hashtag Aaron's birthday and, uh, you could win. You win, I will reach out to you, we will have a conversation, and we'll figure out what works best for you, because I don't have anything readily available to give you at this moment in time. But I know a guy, and I can send you all the stuff. So, I'm all alone on my birthday, so let's get this going. Check out these upcoming comps, y'all. This is Talking Beards, the competition. Number one. Uh, let's talk about this one. This is coming up. This has been going on super easy to do. Doesn't cost you any money. It's all for fun. Let's go. So this is the 2021 honest Amish, no shave November beard contest. All you have to do is email your photo to no shave at honest Amish.com. Uh, send a picture, send your address, uh, that whole thing. And you know, you can put what category you think you're in, but I'll, I'll stick you in the one that I feel like you're in. And, you know, by the end of the month, we're going to pick winners. And then we're going to show off the winners kind of slowly throughout the week, you know, or a week or two. It gives us content. So that'll probably be 10 days of winners on the Honest Amish Facebook, Instagram pages. And we'll get you a free hoodie if you win first place and some products. Second place will win a coffee mug and some products. And third place, I believe it's a hat and some products. So. We got some Black Friday stuff going on, all kinds of stuff. Next up, we just talked about it for about 30 minutes in this episode. And if you want to know more about the Cajun Beard Bash, just, you know, rewind this thing. Put it in the old VCR and just just hit rewind and you can watch it again. And Nick's got all the information about Cajun Beard Bash is coming up this weekend. Uh, 10 a.m. until 3. No. Yeah, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's Central Time because my times are listed in Eastern and Scott, Louisiana is in Central Time. So, yeah, check it out. It is in Scott, Louisiana at the Harley dealership. And, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I'm going to be there, so you should be there. That's that's pretty much the extent of that. Um, what else we got going on? So, I've, I believe this is invite only. Your friends are crayons. However this works. Come check it out. There's there's going to be the crayon celebration of life. We're going to be uh, bringing crayons for crayons. There's going to be there's going to be raffles. They're going to be selling some of his prints. This is this is going to be a huge huge thing. Just everybody come out, even if you're not supposed to. You still come out. Uh, yeah, it's going to be in Lexington, Kentucky. It'll be Friday, December third at six p.m. Uh, the address is in the event page. Go check it out. And this goes along with it. 
hashtag crayon. So we're going to do crayons for crayons. Like I said, everybody bring crayons to this event and they're all going to get donated to local schools. Uh, after that, you can, you can be a wild person because, you know, who would do this? Uh, go to Louise Lexington on Friday. And then right after that, right up the road, you can drive to uh, Leesburg, Virginia. You know, I don't know who who on earth would do this, but that would be really crazy. Um, yeah, but I'll probably do it. So, um, yeah, go to S Leesburg, Virginia for Jingle Beards 3. It'll be at the Loudon Kitchen and Bar. It's going to be a good time. Bearded Villains Northern Virginia is going to put on a good show. Go check it out. Uh, and this is probably the last one for the year. Uh, unless someone's going to surprise me with the last minute edition, but this is, this is the last competition of 2021 that I know of. And this is cool beards and hot wings. This is going to be at Duke's brew house. That is in Brandon, Florida. This is going to be a just one bearded villains, Orlando and bearded villains. Swamp side event it is going to be Saturday, December 18th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Registration will be from 2 to 3.30. The competition starts at 4, and the hot wing competition starts at 7. So, you know, it's kind of like down there in Louisiana, they're going to do the tiebreaker at the last minute with the tacos. Well, maybe they could do a tiebreaker with hot wings at this one. Who knows? But that's what we got going on as far as competitions, I do believe, for the rest of the year. Uh, the weekend after the 18th is Christmas Day. I don't think anyone's probably going to have a competition on that day. Who knows? I'm. Who knows? It could be. I'd go to it. The Santa Beard Bash 2021 or something. Um, but that is it for the year. I know there's probably a couple other little competitions in there. If I have missed it, please reach out to me and let me know that I missed your competition and I'll, I'll post it all over social medias and I will apologize for missing your show. Uh, but that's it. Thank you everybody for watching talking beards tonight. It's, uh, it didn't go really as planned because we thought we had Scott Sakura and we were going to do it. So it's Aaron's birthday and make a big deal like I did him, but you know, Scott has to redo his floors again, I'm sure. So it's all good, but thank you everybody for watching and all that good stuff. And you, this is your last possible moment to get involved with this 15 entries. You will win some honest Amish products right now. You better put in that hashtag Aaron's birthday. And this is your last chance. This is it. Three, two, one. Your chance is over. So are you ready to see who won? I know Natalie is. She's dying to find out. So let's go. So, like I said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw for some free product. I will reach out to you. And Mark Morton, I'll reach out to you, my friend. I will uh, <laughs> I will see, see what you want. You know, some oil balm, soap, oil, wax, lip balm, whatever. But I will, I'll reach it out to you. And uh, congratulations, Mark Morton. And Andrew says it's rigged as per usual. I don't understand. It's like, it's weird. The, the, uh, whatever the spinny thing here, the, the giveaway doesn't want Andrew to win. It's, it's strange. Cause he used to win every trivia and every giveaway, but now StreamYard hates him, I guess. Cause he doesn't win anymore, but congratulations, Mark Morton. And I'll, I'll reach out to you and get you some products in the mail to you. Quickly. Yes, very quickly. Thank you, everybody, for watching us. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com. Use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to save 15% off your order. Uh, next week, I think we will have Frankie from uh, Bearded Villains, Northern Virginia, to talk about Jingle Beards. I'll be here. Scott will probably be here. And then uh, on the 7th of December, we will not be putting on an episode. We've mentioned it kind of sort of a little bit, but just, just so everybody knows, we're not doing an episode on December 7th. So everybody have a great, great night. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, Matt, Andrew, everybody. Thank you, Nick, for stopping by and saying hello. Um, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. And yeah, make sure you eat lots of cool food. And What? 
Oh man, Natalie just pointed out I forgot to eat my hot ball. So maybe, maybe next week, maybe this next week will actually happen. So we'll we'll come up with something fun to do with this little crazy thing, and I will eat these hot cheese balls. I think Riley Griffin sent me these like two months ago, and I'm I'm gonna eat them. I'm going to. But that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great evening. Okay, bye. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.